Okay, so at this time of year, we talk about light, don't we? And we do a light party normally, but obviously we're a little bit further apart from each other at the moment. So I'm going to talk a little bit about light first. Um, yesterday, we, the Carols, went for a walk on Cow and Calf, didn't we? Yeah. And walking up Cow and Calf, it was windy mm -hmm. and... Terrifying. Terrifying <laughs> and rainy and, and very muddy. And very muddy, so that was very Sli slippery and slimy. slimy. And it was very rocky. And we got to a river at one point, didn't we? Mm. Right. And I was thinking about that journey, and I was obviously we did that journey in daytime, so in light. And I was thinking, um, imagine how much harder that would have been um in the dark. Mm. <laughs> and imagine how many more times we would have got hurt. Probably our own faults for going the wrong way um, and not being able to see where we're going. Imagine how many times we would have got wet and muddy. And imagine how we would have felt as well. How do you think we would have felt up there in the Very dark? cold and hurt and scared. <laughs> scared. Do you think you'd have felt scared? Mm -hmm. I think even I would have felt scared actually with all that wind and rain and the dark, not knowing what was going to be ahead of me. So that was a bit of a journey for us yesterday. And people often say that life is a journey, that um, that going through life is, is each stage is a journey. So Sophie's next stage will be going to secondary school next September. And that would say be another destination, another stop in your journey. And in that, um, Sophie has a lot of unknowns, but Sophie tries to live her life in light. And what do we mean by that, Sophie? You try to live your life with God. Yeah. And with seeing God through hard times. And because he, he guides your way, doesn't he? With his light, with Jesus' light. So going into the unknown with a guiding light is so much easier than with with just darkness, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We don't like to be afraid. Um, and the unknown is sometimes scary. Um, but it's not scary when you have a light that guides your path. If you're out at sea, they talk about the lighthouse because as soon as they see that light, it's it's salvation, it's saving glory. They know that they are near the the coast and they know they're almost home. Um, and that's what Jesus is for us. He's our salvation. He's our guiding light. Um, and we look to him to direct our paths. Sometimes your path might be bumpy like yesterday. Sometimes you might have dips in, in the road and, and you might feel a little lost. But if you go back and find that guiding light, you will see that, that he's always there. He's always guiding your path. Um, and it might be unknown. It might be hard sometimes. But you are safe. You are safe if you trust and hold on to Jesus. So we always feel I'm um, so blessed at this time of year to think about light, don't we? Um, just a reminder that he is guiding us. So I've got two verses that we've been looking for, um, looking in at the, with the pack, um, if you've got a pack from us. And I'm just going to read the verses um, and then we're going to do a craft. So um, at John 8, 12 um if you had the pack it, this was in one of the balloons it says um and again jesus spoke to them saying i am the light of the world whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life so that's everything that we we're just saying that that you won't walk in darkness um and then i love this one Psalm 27, um, verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? So,
So that's a lovely reminder to us that when you have Jesus as your friend, then there is nothing to fear. Um, he will keep you safe. He will always be there with you. He will never leave you. Even if we'd been on the cow and calf in the darkness, we would have had him to pray to and help us guide us off that, that, that wet, <laughs> slippy um, hill. But he's always there for you. It's, it's a lovely time um, to think about that. Think about the light that he's got. So we're going to make lanterns to think about light. <sighs> Bit of card. If you've got this in your pack, um, then you'll already done it or seen it. But if not, just a bit of card or paper. It would work with this paper. So we're going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to quickly demonstrate cutting some splits up it like this. Um, if you're too young to be using scissors, please get an adult to help you. Please be careful with scissors, watch your fingers. But we're just gonna cut the slits probably about one and a half centimeters apart, but I'm just doing it by eye. <laughs> okay. Then, I'll let you do it. Then, we've got something that looks a little bit like this once I've opened it up. And we're just going to, I've got some double-sided tape to help me, but you could use any kind of glue. And we're just going to stick one side, I can't move your face, to the other. Put that tape there. Can you feel that up there? Uh-huh, you can stick it. Okay. Um, okay, so a lantern and we can stick a handle on that <clears throat> and what would be nice is to write some scripture um, about light. If you've had a pack you'll have seen all the verses in the Bible about light and there are quite a lot. There's actually more than they're on the sheet even. So this is just 12 but, but it shows how much the world wants to remind you that he is your guiding light. So, um, it's okay. So, I've got to put a handle, but it would be nice if you wrote something, a scripture on it. There. Okay. So good. And it basically, should I stick it? Basically looks a bit like that. <laughs> so, so, um, we hope this time of year, you're thinking about being with Jesus and just how that he is going to guide your path. Hope to see you all again soon. Please bye. 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 bye.